Hi, it's Kerry from Super Fun Reviews. I'm looking at some of my recent safari dinosaurs. I'm impressed with the accurate representation of these models. Can you tell me how many fingers on a Giganotosaurus hand? Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like dinosaurs. Stay for the volcano erupting. Diplodocus. This is a very accurate model. It has a whip-like tail and a long neck. In fact, it's as long as three buses. You can see there on the skin, the spikes and the scoots. Its front legs were shorter than its back legs. It had elephant-like legs with five-toed feet. Notice the large thumb claw. Its head was less than two feet or 60 centimeters long and the nostrils were on top of the head. It was among the longest land animals ever. I love the new turquoise color. It looks like it's ready to go for a walk. Lots of wrinkles and bumps in the skin and I think the detailed head is the right size and shape for the size of the body. A very nice model. To receive all notifications from me, first of all subscribe and then click on the bell icon and click on the words turn on. On a PC or Mac, just tick the box and save. Cryolophosaurus lived during the early Jurassic period. It had a distinctive bony forward facing fan shaped furrowed crest on its head. Its name means cold crest lizard because it was found in Antarctica. Antarctica was much different back then, covered in forest. The unusual nasal crest runs just over the eyes where it rises up perpendicular to the skull and fans out. It's a pretty blue colour as well. The furrows give it a comb-like appearance. It's an extension of the skull bones near the tear ducts and it's fused on either side to the horns which rise from the eye sockets called orbital horns. I love the colour of it too. Dinocarus was a giant ornithomimus that lived in the Cretaceous period of what is now known as Mongolia. The skull was over three feet or one meter long. It had spoonbill like jaws and the snout was more elongated like the duck billed hadrosaurs. I like that fan on the tail too. It's got bird like feet and look at the hands there. I like the way the feathers go all different directions and that pink skin underneath the chin there. It has a quite rounded body and I like the pose as well and the colours look good too. Notice the long stiff tail. Giganotosaurus is the largest carnivorous dinosaur from South America about 41 feet or 12 and a half meters long. I like all the detail on the head there and the brown zebra stripes. It's very well painted. It has quite a dynamic ferocious pose. You can see all the muscles and skin folds there. The base provides good support so the tail is up in the air. Tyrannosaurus outweighed Giganotosaurus because of the extra muscle mass but Giganotosaurus is slightly longer. It had three fingered hands with sharp claws, long and powerful back legs with three sharp talons on the toes. Its jaws were large enough to swallow an adult human whole. Volcano alert.
thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more great videos. See you again soon. Please subscribe and share my videos on any social media site that you like to visit. Thanks once again. Hi, it's Kerry. Today you get to see what is in one of my three boxes of dinosaurs. Spinosaurus was a semi-aquatic dinosaur and could live and hunt on land and in the water. I love his face. The teeth are really nice. Tyrannosaurus, commonly known as the king of the dinosaurs. This is a lovely colour, this model. I would really appreciate any help you can give in translating my videos. Thank you. Argentinosaurus was a very large land animal. It could grow to 130 feet long. Spinosaurus had a six foot long skull and he had raised nostrils and could breathe when partly submerged in the water, a bit like a crocodile. Ah, Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus was an aggressive carnivore and it has a double crested head and very sharp claws on its arms and legs. Great colours. Ah, this is a Jurassic World Pteranodon. Pteranodon mostly ate fish and of course was a flying reptile, not a dinosaur. I've added a bit more paint to that one to make it a bit brighter. Oh, you can see inside it there. Baby T-Rex hatchling inside its egg. T-Rex. Typical length for a Tyrannosaurus could be up to 42 feet long. T-Rex. T-Rex had powerful hind legs, a large skull and a thick tail to help with balancing. Ah, a juvenile T-Rex. And another. has really nice markings. More babies, juvenile triceratops and brachiosaurus. Ah, this pteranodon had a large crest on its head and a very short tail. This is Monolophosaurus, a medium sized dinosaur. It had a long bony ridge running from its nose to the top of its head. Pteranodon may have hunted like a modern day pelican, scooping the fish up out of the water with its very sharp beak. Ah, this is a lovely T Rex. The small forearms were quite powerful and were used for grasping prey. And you can see some sharp claws there as well. Carcharodontosaurus was a fearsome carnivore with 8 inch teeth that could slash and rip into flesh. This dinosaur is one of my favourites. Very nice detail. 
Dinosuchus could grow up to 35 feet long and could live on land or in the water. It would often take its prey by surprise and drag it into the water and drown it. Anhangera had a long crested beak with an unusual bulbous end shape. It was a fish eater. Baryonyx was a meat and fish eater. It would use its big long crocodile shaped jaws and wade out into the water to catch fish. Dinochirus had long arms with three long fingers on each hand. Jurassic World Velociraptors. This is Echo. So the arms move. The jaw stays in one place, it can't move. There's some leg movement there. Very nice. These dinosaurs do need help to stand up though. You can see I've painted its tongue. Aha, here's Charlie. Again with a painted tongue. Beautiful green colour and look at that eye. Movable arms and the legs don't move on this one. And a curved around tail. Next we have Blue. Have a look at that. Oh! That's a bit noisy. Yes, the legs move and the arms move. Let's see what else it does. Yes, I've got it working. And I'll flip it around and let's see what happens. when I pull on the arm. That could get a bit annoying. And here is Delta. Again I've painted her tongue. Yes, long livable arms. Legs aren't moving. And her jaw doesn't move either. Again she does need help to stand up. Another Argentinosaurus. Ah, oh, this is the gyrosphere from Jurassic World. The little man sits in there. And when you press that button, you can see the two hatches open. You can shoot that. Let's see if we can get blue. Gotcha! So there's wheels on the bottom so it can move along and that's the button you press. Oh, well done! Ah, oh, baby Stegosaurus. Oh, this is a new T-Rex for me. T-Rex would use its deadly bite force to capture prey. Stegosaurus. The plates on its back could grow up to two feet by two feet in size. You can see the two rows there. Parasaur Olophus. The funny shaped horn on its head may have been used for making a sound. It's an unusual shaped 
complicated, isn't it? Ah, Gastonus! That's a sharp beak. This is a really nice paint job. I like the wings, how they're tipped. Ah, baby Parasaurolophus. Uh-oh. <laughs> And here's a bit bigger bird, Kalenkin. A giant flightless bird. Mav used his beak to help kill prey. And you can see claws on the end of the wings there. Pentaceratops. Had five horns, three true horns, and two false horns. They were used to anchor the jaw. It had a beak like mouth. Ah, Giganotosaurus. Slightly larger than T Rex. Its massive skull was over five feet long. Carnotaurus. Very small arms. It used its horns in battle and the horns also helped protect the eyes. This is a lovely model. It has a lo lovely soft rubbery feel to it. It's also a really nice colour. It was a fierce and aggressive predator. Average length could be 30 feet long. This is a really lovely model. You can see all the back spikes there and a lovely paint job. Ankylosaurus. Much like a prehistoric tank. A predator would have to flip it onto its back to attack its unprotected underbelly. Stegosaurus, another tank-like creature, could grow up to 30 feet long. Another Pteranodon, a very large wingspan, up to 10 metres wide. They also had no teeth. T-Rex. Its massive teeth were designed to crush bone and penetrate armour. Dimetrodon. It's not a dinosaur. It's actually a mammal-like reptile. That's a beautiful sail on it. A lovely paint job as well. And finally Spinosaurus. The spines on its back grow up to five feet long. This is a lovely model. Well, that's all for now. This box is empty. Two more to go. We just saw 44 dinosaurs and reptiles and one gyrosphere. Thank you for watching my video. Stay on for lots more dinosaur videos right here on Super Fun Reviews. See you again soon. Hi Super Funners, this is box 2 of my dinosaur collection. T-Rex could eat a whole carcass, bones and all. Spinosaurus.
Tyrannosaurus had numerous pressure sensors in its snout that helped the creature sense movement in the water. Carnotaurus had a strong open bite and long slender teeth, which means it could swallow whole small prey. Jurassic World Ankylosaurus. Its club-like tail was a lethal weapon and could crush an opponent's bones with one well-aimed swing. Ankylosaurus comes a pale brown colour and I've painted the top of it just to make it look a little bit brighter. Mapasaurus, closely related to Giganotosaurus and grew to about 40 feet in length. Triceratops is a herbivore. Its name means three horned face. The horns protect them from T Rex. Megalodon was the largest shark to ever live with seven inch teeth, huge jaws, and a powerful bite. If you look closely in the mouth, you can see the different rows of teeth. Archaeopteryx, half dinosaur and half bird. It had feathers, beak and bird-like feet, but then it had fingers and claws and teeth like a dinosaur. Styracosaurus was a plant eater. If attacked, it could inflict a lot of damage on a predator with its very sharp horns. T-Rex had an infectious bite, probably from rotten meat caught in the serrations of the teeth allowing harmful bacteria to grow. Dilophosaurus, often hunted in packs and had very sharp claws. Notice the double crest on its head. Quetzalcoatlus was a flying reptile, the size of a small aircraft. It may have been able to fold its wings to walk on all fours. Decentrurus, its name means very sharp tail. Acrocanthosaurus. Arms were slightly longer than T Rex and it had a unique flap of skin running along its back. This is Bapiosaurus. It had a toothless beak, cheek teeth, and primitive type feathers, not for flying. Jurassic 
Jurassic World helicopter. They can shoot missiles. And the top opens up for the pilot. There is Xenosaurus. Arms could grow up to 8 feet long and 28 inch claws. Neovenator was a large meat-eating dinosaur that grew to about 25 feet long. Ah, Utah Raptor hunted in packs and was quite vicious. You can see the very sharp claws there, especially on the feet. Diplodocus. Its neck could grow to 26 feet and a 45 foot long whip like tail. Front legs were shorter than the back with elephant like five toed feet with a thumb claw. Velociraptor had a sharp, deadly, sickle-shaped, retractable three and a half inch long claw on each foot. You can see it there on the second toe. Velociraptor liked to hunt in packs. Carnotaurus had pebbly scales on its skin and a whip-like tail. It was a very fast runner. hunted large sauropods like Apatosaurus and Diplodocus. They also hunted Stegosaurus. Rampharynchus was a pterosaur, a flying reptile. The diamond-shaped Flap on the end of its tail helped stabilize it when it was flying. Javaria was a plant eater with scoop-like teeth. Sarcosuchus was not a dinosaur. There were over 100 teeth in its long jaws. It had an overbite, the top jaw extended over the lower jaw. Ah, a Patasaurus. This used to be called Brontosaurus. The nostrils are located on top of the head.
Jurassic World Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus like to ambush its prey, sometimes lying in the water with just its nostrils above the water and then using the element of surprise to catch prey. It would drag the prey into the water and wait for it to drown. Dimorphodon was a flying reptile with a huge head resembling the modern day puffin. This is the Jurassic World Dimorphodon. Notice that the legs are sprawled at the sides making walking quite clumsy. Its name means curvy nose. It's a duck built dinosaur. Sycamimus had a two foot high sail on its back and a very long snout with foot long thumb claws for catching fish. Megaceraps had a pair of blunt horns on its snout. Tapajara was a flying reptile. It had a short tail and a crest on its head that would grow to three foot high. Brachiosaurus. Unlike most dinosaurs, its front legs were longer than its back legs. Eutyrannus had long downy feathers. It would have been a forebear to Tyrannosaurus rex. Spinosaurus. Its head could grow to five feet in length and it was very good at catching fish. Its main weapon would have been its sharp claws, particularly when fighting T-Rex. Juvenile T Rex. There is Xenosaurus. It may have used its giant claws to rip open the nests of termites. Some scientists think it may have been a herbivore as well.
T-Rex had a deadly bite. Prey might not initially die when bitten by T-Rex, but as they became infected and weaker, T-Rex would know how to hunt them down to track them. Another T-Rex. T-Rex could eat a whole carcass, bones and all. It had a deadly bite force. Its teeth were made to penetrate through bones and through armour. This is the Jurassic World T-Rex. When you move the tail sideways, the mouth opens. Tyrannosaurus often fought amongst themselves over mates, territory and food. Concavenator. The hump may have been used for storing fat like a camel. Oviraptor means egg stealer. Oviraptor would fight using its sharp claws and its parrot like beak. juvenile Pachycephalosaurus. It had a thick bony skull with bumpy knobs on its dome-shaped head. Ah, baby Spinosaurus, a juvenile. Pterosaur, a flying reptile. The wings were covered by a tough membrane stretching between its body, the top of its legs and its elongated fourth finger. Claws protruded from the other fingers. This is Triceratops prey so you might want to shut your eyes. Quick look! Oh. I've only used these a couple of times in videoing. I don't really like them. There's a better look if you want to look. The next one is Stegosaurus prey. There it is. Just a quick look first. Ooh. If you want to look again, you can. This is Gariel. It's a crocodile-like reptile. The small thin snout enables them to catch fast-moving small fish.
This is a Ratosaurus. It came from Australia, the same as me. It was a herbivore and had elephant-like legs. Wow, that was 48 dinosaurs and reptiles, one helicopter and of course the Megalodon. Thank you for watching my video. Stay on for lots more dinosaur videos right here on Super Fun Reviews. See you again soon. Subscribe and share my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit. Thanks once again.